The Alvin submarine was built in 1964 for Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. It was built for scientific research. It's the oldest operating research submersible in the world. In 1964, Southwest Research did the original hull hydro test, testing it to 3,300 PSI. In its 50-year history, the Alvin has taken more than 4,600 dives, and its accomplishments include exploring the Titanic and locating a sunken hydrogen bomb, as well as making and validating significant scientific discoveries. Over the course of its long life, Alvin has been refitted on numerous occasions, but in 2005, Woods Hole began a major two-phase upgrade to Alvin. United States researchers can only reach about 63% of the ocean floor. Uh, other countries have vehicles that can make it to roughly 99% of the ocean floor, which is the 6,500 meter uh, depth. So the U.S. wanted to have a vehicle that was uh, able to reach 99% as well. So that's what led to the overhaul. Southwest Research Institute was brought in to design and manage the fabrication of a new titanium personnel sphere designed to reach 99% of the seafloor. This new hull was one of the biggest technical challenges in the Alvin upgrade project because it not only had to withstand the higher pressures, but it still needed to fit existing Alvin transport infrastructure. The existing support ship has a garage. And there's only like a foot on each side extra for the vehicle to fit in the garage. So we, had, we didn't have a lot of room in making the vehicle bigger so that when we looked at all the components that had to go into the the eventual vehicle, the amount of weight uh, budget for the hull was relatively very small. The sphere, which holds a pilot and two scientists, is designed to descend 6,500 meters to depths that generate nearly 10,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. So the hull had to be stronger. You can deal with the strength of the hull a couple of ways. You can either use brute force, make the hull thicker, but we were constrained by weight, so we wanted to keep it as small as or thin as possible uh, from a weight standpoint. We, we chose uh, titanium alloy 6,4 Eli uh, because titanium is an excellent material for uh, corrosion resistance in seawater. Uh, titanium has a, 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 a real high strength to weight ratio. We had tailored the oxygen level so we had really good strength characteristics and, and adequate, uh, adequate fracture toughness. Southwest Research was uh, chosen to, to build this hull because of our expertise in, in fabricating and welding of titanium. We had built several other pressure vessels for other applications using titanium. We had also recently fin finished the submarine rescue system, the PRM, a pressurized rescue module system for the United States Navy. Alvin's new sphere has three inch thick walls and required more than 40,000 pounds of titanium alloy ingot material to fabricate. Throughout the entire process of going from ingots to finished machine hemispheres that were electron beam welded together, there were just a myriad of stop and check points to validate that we were staying on track that we were maintaining the geometry that was necessary, that we were maintaining the characteristics of the material, that it was strong enough and tough enough and corrosion resistant. Its interior diameter is 4.6 inches wider than Alvin's previous sphere, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it actually increased the interior volume by 30 cubic feet. In addition, the new hull has five viewports, two more than the previous design. The new Alvin pressure hull has five large windows in it. They have three up front that are seven inch diameter and one on each side, port and starboard, that are five inch diameter. And these windows give uh, the scientists an unprecedented view, eyes on the actual science that they're performing. Now putting those windows in the sphere had the potential to destabilize or weaken the structure. So a lot of effort, tremendous amount, one of our greatest amounts of uh, analytical effort went into the design uh, and location and placement of where these windows would be. And the, the challenge that we faced and we achieved successfully was the ability to 
to position those three windows very closely together so that the scientists can, can overlook without looking over the shoulder of the pilot, but can oversee and, and witness what the pilot sees. Among the most challenging aspects of the project was meeting both American Bureau of Shipping and Navy certification requirements. Uh, I don't know of anybody else in the country that has had to meet both requirements. An engineering and fabrication marvel, Alvin's new larger personnel sphere is now designed to hold more equipment and provide greatly improved comfort and visibility on dives. The hull is designed to go to 6,500 and operate at 6,500 meters of seawater, about 21,000 feet. But we tested it to validate its performance and strength capabilities, effectively tested it to 8,100 meters. So we have a vehicle that is, uh, operates at 6,500 meters uh, routinely, and the operators uh, can feel comfortable that it's safe because it's actually been tested and shown that it, it's uh, structurally sound at 8,100 meters. Now that the personnel sphere has been successfully upgraded, phase two will begin to upgrade the rest of the sub, such as the battery and ballast systems, to become fully operational in 6,500 meters of seawater.